Grade 8 math number 4.3a. Now we're in a new unit where we're going to learn about graphing linear non-proportional relationships using slope and y-intercept. Okay? And that's going to be throughout all the 4.3 videos, A, B, C, whatever, however many I have. So in this one we're going to do uh, use slope-intercept form to graph a line. Now you remember the slope-intercept form, right? We have talked about this in the last couple of videos. It's this equation, this formula. And don't forget that this is the slope formula, okay? All right, so we now know that y equals mx plus b is the slope-intercept form of the equation of a line. And with this form, it's easy to see the slope m and the y-intercept b. We can use this form to quickly graph a line by plotting the point 0b, 0 for x, and b as the spot where the line crosses the y-axis, and using our slope for this line to find our second point. So remember, this m is the slope because in the slope formula it says m equals, remember that? These are x and y coordinates for x2 and y2, remember from the last video? And this, b, is the spot where the line crosses the y-axis, okay? So by knowing 0 and whatever this b is, we can make a line, okay? So let's do the first one. So I wrote the slope intercept form up here so you can compare it to our equation we've got down here. So we can see two-thirds is our slope and we can see b is a negative one. So remember we're going to set x to zero and use negative one, all right? That's our, our intercept. So the y-intercept b is negative one and we plot the point zero for x and negative one for where the line is going to hit the y-axis. That contains the y-intercept. So what we do is it's negative 1, so we go on the y-axis, and we find negative 1, and it's right here, okay? So we draw that point. It says the slope is 2 thirds, 2 over 3. So we use the slope to find the second point. That's the rise over the run. So that says that we have to rise by 2, so we go up by 2, and then we have to go right by 3. We run sideways 3. So we go up by 2. 1, 2. The green is always the rise for me, and the orange is always the run, okay? So we go up by 2, 1, 2, and we do our horizontal run, 1, 2, 3. And that means our point is going to be right here. So for x, it's on the 3, and for y, it's on the 1. Now, because the 2 thirds is a positive number, we know our line is going to rise to the right. It's going to go up in this direction, see? It's positive. If it were negative, it would write, it would go this way, see? So because this two-thirds is a positive number, we know we already know the direction that our line is going to go. It's going to go this way. So the new point is at 3 and 1, and we draw a line through the 0, negative 1, and the 3, 1, and that's the line we get, see? And we did it by just having this equation with our slope and whatever the y-intercept was, okay? Let's try it again. So here we've got our slope form right here, and we can compare it to the equation. So we can see right away that the slope is a negative 5 over 2. So knowing that's negative, we now know our line is going to go that way, all right? And we know that it, the line is going to hit the y-axis at 3. So the y-intercept b is 3, we plot the point 0, 3. And that contains the y-intercept. So our point is going to be right here. It's 0 for x and 3 on the y-axis, okay? We know our slope is a negative 5 over 2, and we use that slope to find the second point. And because it's a negative number, we know the line's going to fall to the right, okay? This one, it was positive, so we knew it was going to go up. Now that this is a negative one, we know the line is going to go this way. So we already know the direction of our line. And we've got the 5 as the rise and the 2 as the run, and it's negative. So we're going to go down 5. This is a negative, so we're going to go down 5, and then we're going to go right 2. So we do. We were right here at, the, at x0 and y3. We're going to go down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That puts us at negative 2 on y's line. And we need to go... 2 to the side, 1, 2. And you know which side to go because you know the line has to go in this direction, right? It's not going to come over here. 
that wouldn't be a positive one, wouldn't it? So you even know which direction left or right to go because you know the line has to be going this way. It's a negative slope. See that, how it helps? All right, so we plot that point and we draw a line through it and this is what we get. Now, we could have gone another direction, okay? We could have gone up five and left two and then drawn a line. Because see, when we're doing the points, we could have chosen another point up here and we could have gone up and across, see? So we could have gone up here. I chose to do it this way by heading down and going up and going across. We could have gone up and gone to the left like that, see? It doesn't matter, but usually if you stick with one way, it'll stick in your head that that's the way to do it, okay? All right, so that's how we use the slope-intercept form to graph a line. That wasn't too hard, was it? All right, we're going to continue on and we're going to continue talking about slopes. And don't forget I'm on Twitter, and I can post these whiteboards as a study guide for you. And don't forget I'm on Patreon.com, and you could become a monthly supporter. See you next video. Bye.